With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello. In the question, it is given the figure shown an L-shaped rod rotating about its end O in a plane perpendicular to a magnetic field B. The part OA of the rod is non-conducting while AB is conducting the EMF induced between A and B is first one zero, second one half B omega L square C 1 divided by 2 root 2 B omega L square or D 2 B omega L square. So we have to calculate the conducting EMF induced between the rod A and B and we have to check which of these options are correct. A rod of length L. So it is given that L, L is the length of the rod. It rotates with the angular, uh, uniform angular velocity. It rotates with uniform angular velocity omega so radian per second. So that is the unit about an axis passing through its middle point but normal to its length in a uniform magnetic field. So it rotates about its axis passing through its middle point but normal to its length in a uniform magnetic field. Magnetic field induction magnetic value is B with its direction parallel to the axis of rotation. So it rotate parallel to the axis of the rotation and the induced EMF between the two ends of the rod is. So we have to calculate the EMF induced between two rods. So we know that EMF always, so EMF always act along, act along or generate along the direction V cross B where V is the velocity and B is the magnetic field. So for circular motion we know that equation for the velocity is given by V is equal to R omega where V is the velocity, R is the radius of rotation, omega is the angular velocity. So R is nothing but the distance from which the object is rotating. So we can say that R is equal to length of the rod. Hence, so now we have EMF value as, so EMF is equal to, we have this equation V cross B. So in the place of V, we can substitute V is equal to R omega. Hence, EMF equation becomes EMF is equal to, in the place of V, we can write R omega cross B. So, we can take it outside omega r cross b. So emf is equal to omega r cross b. So consider this equation as 1. And since the rod is rotating about o, so it is given that in this diagram, it rotates along about, uh, rotating about o. So the apparent length will be so the apparent length using so apparent length will be length square length of the road first one square plus second one so 2 l square so l root 
So this is the apparent length. So we can indicate this one as L. And in this case, in equation 1, R is nothing but the uh, L. That is R square is equal to L. We can write R square is equal to L. So considering apparent length L is equal to L root 2. And equation 1 becomes, equation 1 we have is equal to omega R cross B. So we know that R square is equal to L. So we can substitute in the place of R omega L root 2 whole square into B or omega B L square 2 or in simply we can write epsilon is equal to 2 omega b l square. So this is the equation to calculate the EMF. So now let me check which of these options are correct. So checking this the option D is matches with the answer. So we can say option D is correct. So this is the answer. I hope this answered your question. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.